Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be installing some pocket door hardware. Now, this is not traditional pocket door hardware. You can see this has got a normal hole drill out for like a normal handle that we'd see on a regular door, but this is a pocket door. So this is a really cool handle set by Quickset. This is the 335. Um, I'll have a link for this down in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Basically, this is a square one. Uh, they also make them in round. So this is pretty cool. Uh, let me see here. This is what the inside is gonna look like when it's done. So I like this versus the uh, original style. There's a close up of what that looks like. And this is the part that goes in the edge of the door which looks just like a normal door hardware. The only difference is this is actually a button. So you push that, it pops open, and then there's this little tab that you can grab the door with to pull the door. So I think that is really cool. Let me show you how it works. So then when you uh, have it installed and you open it, it just pops out like normal. And then there's this little tooth. If you can see that little tooth there, boop, that little tooth pops out and that grabs onto this, which goes inside the other side of the door. So this is more like uh, what you'd find on a deadbolt on an entry door. And there's these little grooves in this thing that that clicks onto like this turn that there we go so that clicks onto that like that so you can't open the door hopefully you can see that <laughs> and then there's just this plastic piece is just like a cover for that so that when the door is open you don't see inside the wall jam so basically this installs like any other normal hardware um, so if you've ever installed that you basically we're gonna put this in first and then install the two outsides, put the screws in and then install this on the jam. Now I've already uh, cut this out. So quickly, let me show you that. So they send a nice little template here for lining it up. Once you know exactly where you want it to go, basically you just um, close the door and mark where the center is and mark where the center of the door is gonna land. And that tells you where this is gonna live. And then you just use their little guide, make your marks. Um, you could see here that you actually drill it out. And then I actually drilled out here too, and then use a chisel to cut that all out. So this is all done with a chisel. And then you could do this flat part with a router. Um, I ended up doing it with a chisel. Uh, just wanna make sure you're using a really sharp chisel. And that's what it looks like with the plate on. So let's install this. I'm gonna use this whole centering bit to get the whole perfect. If you've never seen one of these, I'll put a link for this down in the description. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. It says up on here. I just wanna make sure you got it the right direction. Okay, so it says to put the longer edge away from the door edge when you put this side in. And then there's two little teeth like on that on the other side. So you just gotta make sure these are up and down versus side to side so they don't intersect each other. You see what I mean there? Those little teeth right in there. So I wanna make sure these teeth are up and down so they're not in the way. And then we will flip it up and insert the screws. That's pretty cool. And then on this side to open the door, you push that and grab this little guy. Now I can install the little bumpers on the bottom. Uh, the ones they sent didn't work. They're like too thick for the door. So I ended up getting some different ones on Amazon. I'll put a link for these down below as well. And then you just gotta center it. I'm gonna actually shut the door and make sure that it lines up on the lock in the right spot and then pick where I wanna be. Okay, let's try it out. Here we go. 
go. It's locked. Just unlock it. It's pretty sweet. You can see here there's uh, a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much. I might loosen that up a little. Actually, just doing that loosens it up a little bit, huh? There we go. I just painted this door yesterday, so it's a little squeaky that I'm, I'm sure will loosen up. I'll probably put a little wax on these, and I think I'm going to cut off these tabs that stick out. So um, I'll do that. Not that you have to do that for yours, but I'm gonna cut them off. All right, that's it. it. Worked out really well. I'll have a link for this down in the description as well as those tools that I used today uh, and a list of all the tools that you need to do this job down there. So check that out. And uh, if, you got, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more how-to videos. Let me know if there's any videos in particular that you want me to cover next and I'll see you on the next video.